Welcome back to The Restaurant Show, I'm Ellen Barrett. Now the holidays will be here before we know it, and that means great desserts and sweet treats, one of my favorite parts. And joining us today is Sheila G. Maines with a new cookbook that is sure to provide holiday inspiration for you. It's called Sheila G.'s Butter and Chocolate, 101 Creative Sweets and Treats Using Brownie Batter. Maine's self-made success as an entrepreneur is simply incredible, and you may recognize Sheila G. as the creator of the Brownie Brittle Snacks, which sold 30 five million bags last year. Sheila, thank you for being with us today. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me, Ellen. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. And now, Sheila, I just want you to share your story. How did you become the queen of brownies? Well, um, it all goes back to 1992. I was living in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. I had worked my way up to that coveted corner office with two <laughs> windows and suddenly found myself laid off and standing in the unemployment line. So uh, I was 42 years old and I just decided I was gonna do what I love mm -hmm. and I love to bake. So I took a treasured family recipe for brownies and started a brownie business. Um, first going out to local restaurants and cafes and a couple years later I was fortunate enough to um, actually land a nice account called Walt Disney World. Wow. <laughs> it's a, it's know, a nice one. <laughs> and uh, probably ultimate uh, recognition came when we were asked to provide our brownies and brownie brittle desserts for the Golden Globes and the Oscars. Wow. So pretty exciting. Um, I think it was in uh, some of the press coverage that we got from there that I first heard myself being referred to as the brownie queen and um, <laughs> it stuck. <laughs> What an incredible title. I'm very envious of that title. I'd like to be oh, a brownie queen myself. <laughs> and now I've got your cookbook with me today as well. What inspired you to write a cookbook? Well, we have um, many wonderful recipes on our website, browniegrill.com. Our fans love them and they're always asking for more. So um, butter and chocolate was my answer. <laughs> it's uh, a collection of my favorite recipes. They're super simple and proven winners. Absolutely, and I actually have your signature brownies with me today. I gave them a whirl, so they are fantastic. Absolutely incredible and very easy, like you said. But I want to know, which ones are your favorite? Well, probably my uh, ultimate favorite is uh, cookie dough brownie. Mm. Um, the one you see on the cover, that was actually the number one selling dessert back in the 1990s at MGM Studios. So not only do I love that recipe, I'm just thrilled to be able to share it with everyone. And uh, probably um, my salted caramel brownies, another favorite because I am just a sweet and salty fanatic. Oh, they go together just perfectly, right? They perfect do. harmony. They do. They <laughs> do. Absolutely. What a great combination. Just like butter and chocolate. Two, Absolutely. Two my, and now, how about any seasonal words. recipes that you like to make during the holidays? Well, um, Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite holiday. And with that comes uh, pumpkin pie mm -hmm. with uh, brownie brittle crust. Mm. And um, you actually can take brownie brittle, grind it down, melt some butter, mix it up, and um, use it just like you would a graham cracker, and it will deliver the most amazing, uh, crunchy, rich chocolate crust. So a great start to anything. Pies, bars, um, again, whatever you would use graham crackers for, try brownie brittle. You'll love it. Mm. Great idea. And then um, also very festive is our chocolate, cho chocolate, covered brownie bonbons, <laughs> that's a mouthful. <laughs> and um, that is also made with that signature brownie recipe that you just tried. Yeah. We have um, uh, several recipes in there where you can make brownie uh, bonbons or brownie truffles. Um, uh, another favorite for the holidays is our white chocolate macadamia nut um, uh, bars that mm -hmm. uh, also have a brownie brittle crust, but very festive lo uh, looking with the white chocolate and the maraschino cherries and uh, absolutely um, amazing. You'll certainly impress your family and friends with that one as well. Absolutely. And, then, and now, yeah. Sheila, I think you prove it in this cookbook, but why would you say brownie mix or brownie batter is such a good base for so many different recipes? 
Well, it's simple. Um, the recipe, as you can see, um, adjusting it and using different uh, different size pans, different style pans, um, adding a little flour to make a, a brownie cookie, um, making brownie truffles. Um, there's also a blondie recipe in there as well uh, that you, that we will show you how to make the key lime truffles, the amaretto truffles, um, and, and again. They're simple. Um, no one has time for complicated, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Some great recipes in here, so be sure to check it out. Any other non-traditional ways to incorporate brownie mix into your creations? How about brownie stuffed French toast? Ooh. Brownie donuts? My absolute favorite, which is a uh, red raspberry brownie trifle. Excellent, and um, in butter and chocolate, I also have a recipe for an edible brownie batter. So mm. you'll see several recipes in there on how to incorporate that, like with the uh, brownie stuffed French toast. Super simple. Genius idea, that's one of my favorite part of making brownies, you always wanna lick the bowl, so great idea there. And now Sheila, before we go, where can people go for some more information? Uh, you can find more information on our website, brownieburlet.com. There's also a link to Amazon where butter and chocolate is sold. Uh, you can also find the cookbook at most major booksellers across the country. And, uh, you know, buy one for yourself and treat somebody uh, to one for the holidays. The gift Make that keeps on giving. Gift. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sheila G. Maines, the brownie queen herself, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back with more here on The Restaurant Show right after this.